Nguyen Moto N1S. A young Vietnamese company has put months of dedication and hard work into producing the first domestically made electric motorcycle. This bike is inspired by urban scramblers and has a modern minimalist design and dark angular bodywork. Underneath it, there's a lightweight aluminum frame housing an 8 kilowatt hour pack, a built-in charger, and a 24 kilowatt e-motor with a mid-drive layout. The bike has a mid-range size, a seat height of 31 and a half inches, and 6.8 inches of ground clearance. The N1S motorcycle could be outfitted with Brembo brakes, a full suspension featuring an Olean's fork, a rear damper, and such electronic aids as cruise control, ABS, regenerative braking, and three riding performance modes with a reverse mode. The powertrain can generate a maximum torque of 140 pound-feet, reach a maximum speed of 80 miles per hour, and travel up to 125 miles on a charge. Can-Am Origin and Pulse After two years of anticipation and dozens of teasers from Can-Am, we can finally learn and digest the finalized specifications of the brand's first electrified duo. Already available for pre-order and scheduled to appear on the streets and dirt trails in early 2025, the Can-Am Pulse and Origin will be powered by an in-house developed 35 kilowatt strong Rotax e-power unit. Although the Pulse belongs to the street bike class and the Origin is a dual sport model, both newcomers share a standard 8.9 kilowatt hour battery with liquid cooling and L2 charging capabilities. With the most powerful charging option, you can bring the battery from 20 to 80% in about an hour. The city-oriented Pulse sports a KYB suspension fork with 140 millimeters of travel, an adjustable twin tube coilover shock in the rear, disc brakes with ABS, a traction control system, LED headlights, and a 10.25-inch control display with navigation. Nimble city riding is guaranteed by a zippy 0-60 acceleration in 3.8 seconds, while the autonomy is about 80 miles. The off-road-ready Can-Am Origin weighs 412 pounds and has a 34-inch seat height. It's equipped with a 43mm inverted fork by KYB, a fully adjustable rear HPG shock with 10 inches of travel, Brakes with floating calipers, ABS, traction control, and up to 70 miles of autonomy. Black Tea Wildfire The upcoming Wildfire by the German EV maker is an electric scrambler for the A1 driving license holders. It's based on a newly developed cyber frame that uses sheet metal and rivets to make a durable weld-free skeleton. The powertrain standard configuration includes an 8 kilowatt motor with a 10 kilowatt peak capabilities, while the performance one puts to use an 11 kilowatt motor with 20 kilowatts of peak output and 206 pound-feet of torque. Besides picking between two available motor units, you would also be able to choose between ABS and CBS braking systems. Pick between one of the three charge options and opt for one of the four available color schemes. Regardless of the chosen options, you'll be getting a removable 6 kilowatt hour battery with up to 80 miles of range autonomy, 70 mile per hour top speed capabilities, a 5 liter built in storage space, and pylon seating for two people, dual sport tires, LED lighting system, a hydraulic USD fork, and 350 millimeter adjustable gas pressure shock absorbers. Rivet Outset Although the company's electric ride height adjustable seat didn't make it to the new Rivet Outset model, there's still plenty to be excited about in this upcoming all-electric scrambler bike. The US-based manufacturer claims that the Outset uses a platform similar to its predecessor but introduces an upright riding position owing to the use of a narrower seat, repositioned handlebars, new foot peg arrangement, an adventure-oriented suspension setup with an inverted fork, and a rear mono shock with preload and dampening adjustments, and scrambler-specific styling. 
The bike's versatile nature is also supported by the use of Dunlop Mutant tires. The electrified performance comes courtesy of an air-cooled brushless DC motor with 7.5 kilowatts of nominal output and 53 pound-feet of torque. In the urban riding cycle, this scrambler can cover 70 miles between charges. However, it can only go 35 miles with a constant highway speed of 75 miles per hour. The outset uses a removable 4.3 kilowatt hour battery that can be unhooked from the bike and rolled on its wheels to the nearest power outlet. With the help of the built-in 3.3 kilowatt charger, the complete charge can be restored in just two hours when a 220 volt outlet is used. Yologo City Monster Yologo is an uprising EV manufacturer with a plan to launch two battery-powered two-wheelers in early 2025. An urban moped suitable for commuting or deliveries and a scrambler-style motorcycle called the City Monster. The latter has a lightweight construction, a striking retro design, a long leather bench seat for riding two up, and a mid-drive motor offering a performance similar to the 125cc class. The City Monster has a 32-inch seat height, 53-inch wheelbase, and weighs about 240 pounds. Its motor pushes out 11 kilowatts and brings the bike to the top speed of 65 miles per hour. One full charge of the 5.5 kilowatt hour battery could reportedly last up to about 90 miles and needs about three hours to be fully recharged from the built-in 2000 watt charger. Livewire S2 Mulholland For the upcoming 2025 year, Livewire is bringing a brand new performance cruiser, the S2 Mulholland. The model received a fresh design with a laid-back cruiser geometry, a 6-inch handlebar riser, a 19-inch wheel in the front, and a 17-inch one in the back. Encased within the platform is a 10.5 kilowatt hour battery and a 62.6 kilowatt e-motor capable of generating 194 pound-feet of torque and letting you sprint 60 miles per hour in a mere 3.3 seconds. According to official estimations, with every full charge, you could ride up to 120 miles in the urban cycle or up to 70 miles with an average speed of 55 miles per hour. Luckily, the newcomer supports L2 quick charging that would restore 80% of the battery charge in about 80 minutes. However, the standard L1 charger takes up to six hours. Besides producing a bike with zero emission powertrain, Livewire placed a great emphasis on using the latest eco-friendly solutions, namely hemp, biocomposite materials, recyclable silicon, and other petroleum-free materials. Reason Motorcycles Reason Motorcycles is a brand new European e-bike manufacturer from the Czech Republic. Their upcoming product is a long-range, full-size electric motorcycle with a competitive price. With one of the biggest battery packs in its class, the Bohemia can cover up to 160 miles on a charge while having 86 mile per hour speed capabilities. Besides offering highway speeds, the 11 kilowatt motor with a 20 kilowatt peak capability will need just six seconds to reach 60 miles per hour from a standstill. Once the 15.3 kilowatt battery is depleted, only 150 minutes are needed to get back on the road, owing to the support of high speed 6.6 .6 kilowatt CCS technology. A good set of motorcycling parts makes Bohemia a desirable option for people looking for a sustainable means of urban transportation and a proper alternative to the 125cc class. You are getting dual four-piston Nissan brakes in the front and two-piston brakes in the rear, 17-inch wheels with Michelin tires, a 5-inch main display, a secondary 4.3-inch display, and ABS as a standard feature. J2R Dynamic Smole French companies are picking up the pace in the design and production of electric motorcycles. 
This year, a company called J2R Dynamics is preparing a new e-bike for production. Their city-oriented bike weighs 220 pounds, has a 54.5-inch wheelbase and a 31-inch seat height. The model is powered by a specially developed lightweight motor that's hidden inside the rear wheel hub. The motor is good for 8 kilowatts of continuous and 35 kilowatts of peak output. With two 4 kilowatt hour battery packs, they can cover up to 105 miles on a charge while boasting 68 mile per hour top speed capabilities. You may now pre order the bikes for 500 euros, and the company is planning to start shipping the bikes to their potential customers in early 2025. Real Motors Project Ares The US-based company Real Motors has recently unveiled a prototype of their upcoming bike that puts together the most futuristic tech with an exterior look influenced by cafe racers of the 1960s. When developing this prototype, the designers and engineers tried to use modern tech and materials to replicate the geometry, texture, and authentic feeling of analog bikes of the past. The model received gorgeous glossy body paint with black decals, an orange streak, a red horizontal lighting stripe at the rear, a skateboard seat, and dropped handlebars characteristic of Cafe Racer style. The 420-pound machine will receive a powertrain capable of finishing a 0-60 to mph sprint in under 4 seconds while retaining the range of 100 miles. With such a limited range, the support of L2 charging is a must, so when this charging option is used, you'll be able to bring the charge from 10% to 80% in under 30 minutes. Spark Cycle Works Javelin The Connecticut-based Spark Cycle Works needs no introduction in the e-bike community as this small company managed to make one of the best e-mopeds on the American market. For the upcoming 2025 model year, they have announced a brand new model that's catered to the needs of lightweighted motorcycle riders. The new Spark Cycle Javelin is built with modularity in mind and offers various customization options. You can opt in for a pre-built model or apply for a full customization service and choose a color, headlight type, handlebars, shocks, foot pegs, and the material used for the side panels. Speaking of the technical parameters, the Javelin uses a 4 kilowatt rear hub motor that's limited to 2 horsepower and a speed of 30 miles per hour to comply with federal regulations as a motor-driven cycle. However, the Javelin also has an off-road mode that unlocks 55 mile per hour speeds. With an installed 72 volt 40 amp hour battery pack, the bike weighs 185 pounds and can do up to 100 miles in the restricted city mode and up to 40 miles in the off-road mode. Other standard components include an inverted suspension fork, integrated front and rear lights, a 3.5 inch color display, motorcycle grade brakes, and 19 inch tires. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.